Good morning from Las Vegas. I'm gonna to go to a hockey game. I'm gonna play some games. I'm gonna meet up with some old friends of mine. Uh, but let's pick up my luggage first. There we go. Ah, nice. Mine is the last one to arrive. Ooh. Now the funny thing about the airport in here is that you have uh, slot machines before you've even entered Las Vegas proper. So, uh, seats for slot players only. Let's try this one, huh? Oh, hello. Oh, hello there, Wheel of Fortune. How does this work? I want to bet the maximum. Two times jackpot. Oh, there we go. I'm old fashioned, I like to spin this one. Hold on, was that it? Oh, no. I'm too old to understand the slot machine. I have to press this one. This one? Okay, I need to. <laughs> All right. What if I like, so this one doesn't work? Oh no, but I like this one. Hold on then. What, am I out of money? Well, we're out, kind of off to a rough start here in Vegas. Let's, let's go to town, shall we? Now, if you want taxis to go to the Strip, it's fairly easy, it's a fixed price. But if you want to go downtown, you're better off with, uh, with Uber because uh, the price, the price is, uh, is different. So. Hold on. <laughs> hey, Noodles. What are you doing here? <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm trying to win my money back. Are you following me? Are you following me? <laughs> what money? You've been gambling again? Yeah. How much are you down? A lot. Yeah? A lot. I'm gonna have to get a job now. Or you could just be my cameraman. What do you say? How much does it pay? It doesn't pay very well, <laughs> but, it, but it comes with drinks and food. <laughs> and accommodation. Accommodation yeah. and drinks and food? Yes. All right, I'm in. You're in? Yep. Let's roll. Are you a fan of hockey? Yes. Golden Knights? Yeah. yeah. They're playing against the Canucks tonight. So, uh, Geraldo have tickets. Um, I have three tickets to the Golden Knights game. I have a suite in downtown, Sweet. so you can get your own bedroom again. Nice. And uh, yeah, that's it. So it's almost like you planned this. <laughs> what? <laughs> you saying my videos are scripted? <laughs> Here, make yourself useful. <laughs> Do some walkaway shots. Is it? Yeah, hey, brother. I'm okay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hey, what are you smoking at? <laughs> you in your hat? <laughs> Covering up the bull spot. <laughs> what? Look at this, mate. Full set of hair. <laughs> and you got a haircut too. Yeah, did it myself yeah. yesterday. What do you think? Looks good. Yeah. Yeah. Your hair is easy to cut. Just my hair is just gain, going side. from strength to strength. <laughs> Don't I have more hair every time you meet me? No. <laughs> Good, I mean, it's negativity. Everybody trying to bring me down. You haven't even started filming yet. Yes, there's the stadium we're going to uh, to see the hockey game in. Brand new, right? A couple of years. Was, was that 2017? No, was there inaugural season? And now they're reigning champs. There's the hotel. Looks fancy. It's pretty fancy. 
Oh, here we go. Pizza by the slice. Well, we can't really see from out here, but man, look at that. Pretty so like that kind, huh? Yeah. That's the that's what we call the Sicilian style. Squeeze me while I tip this guy. Okay. <laughs> this is one pretty funny. Uh, two pepperoni and sausage Sicilian, please. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a great afternoon. You got the biggest slice. <laughs> you she likes out. me better. Pizza over doso. Ooh. Ooh, it's too hot. Yeah. Yeah. Need to wait a bit. <sighs> See if we end up like that after our slice. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> What's his name? Shopping red. Do you ever ended up like that after pizza? No. <laughs> Never. My patience is very thin. You didn't lose them for Evan? You still want those from Finally, he's up. Just uh, taking a nap. You're opening the door for me. Good service. It's like it's about half an hour since <laughs> you started eating that pizza. When do you plan on finishing it? Maybe in about another hour or two. Really? So you're doing about you're averaging one bite for ten minutes. Yes. Do you plan on bringing that slice to the hockey game? Yes. It's so good. I'm gonna save it. We had a music situation here, so I'm gonna have to do a voiceover. Now, I like to stay down here in Fremont Street better than up on the Strip. This is where Las Vegas began, and the other hotels here are over 50 to 60 years old. Circa is the newest and fanciest hotel down here. That obviously comes at a price, but since Noodles was in town, I figured why not splurge on a suite. Can we just take a moment to appreciate how good of a friend I am? This is the second time now, in a couple of weeks, I'm taking you in. Think you're taking me up the street? Yes. <laughs> I don't really sense much gratitude. What a glorious hallway, huh? Man, just everything I do, every hotel I find, it just exudes quality. Hey, you're not laughing, that means it's true. <laughs> there we go. We're gonna be cameraman as we tour again? Yes. Noodle said that he was going to get everything in the room sorted. So uh, lights are on, hopefully TV working. Let's go and see what it looks like. Nice. Got the, got the TV working. Is this sexy red? Hey, you're trying to demonetize me. <laughs> With your girlfriend. <laughs> hey, is that the pizza from two hours ago? <laughs> yes. This is half gone now. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive. You may finish like another quarter before the game. Mm -hmm. 
So who's who's going to be in the bedroom? Who's going to be in here? I don't know. We'll flip for it. <laughs> we'll flip for it. Yep. All right. Should we do that right now? Or should we uh, wager who's going to win the game? Okay, I'm Vegas Knights. Vegas Knights. All right, I'll pick the other team. Canadian. Canadian. How patriotic of you. <laughs> so this is one bedroom. Ah, oh, there we go. Whoa. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> okay. This is your bed <laughs> if, uh, if Canucks loses, okay? All right. Ah. Win. <laughs> I'm not even... I'm not even worried about having to, okay, okay. <laughs> you, <kind of> are, <laughs> you messed <laughs> it so, up. <laughs> some of your, hey, it's your bed, it's a mess. It's not mine. Some of your sheets are coming out of the wall, okay? You're just going to have to learn to live with that. Decoration. <laughs> <laughs> it is decoration. Here you have a view of the pool. It doesn't look that massive on this uh, wide angle lens, but it's heated. So, mm -hmm. um, like, it's actually pretty cold here at night in Vegas. So, you kind of need the heated um, pool. Welcome to my bedroom. If Vegas lights wind, which they probably will. Hey, someone's been in here already. <laughs> I test out the plumbing. Really? Yep. How was it? It was good. Hey, you left the toilet seat up. <laughs> Jesus. No manners. <laughs> anyway, what I like about this hotel is that everything here kind of exudes quality. Dirty. What's the verdict? Yeah, it's the noodle shower head. Yeah, but it doesn't it doesn't rain down from like straight yeah, above. Yeah, it's not a rainfall, but it would do. Have the sprayer. It has that dual shower head action that mm -hmm. that Geraldo approval of. Mm -hmm. hmm. And here we come to the master bedroom. Go view the pool. We have a nice chair. It has a massive uh, mountain view. It does. This is pretty cool, isn't it? Hmm? And it's surprisingly, you know, for, so the problem with downtown Vegas is that the music is very loud. Uh, but here, you hear nothing. There's no bass. I don't hear the cars. Nothing. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the, um, I'm gonna turn the camera off. Are you gonna play Pound Town again? Yes. I'm out here in Miami. Are you coming in for the game? Yeah, I'm here for the game. Yeah, yeah. All right. Are you a Knights fan? I am. Yeah, of yeah? course. <laughs> All right. So, how much was this? Uh, it's gonna be card only. Oh, okay. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> All right. For Forty dollars. I know. <laughs> yeah. I, oh, hold on. <laughs> It's $38 for two beers. <laughs> welcome to Vegas, guys. Nor my friend, welcome. I'm happy to be here. Just pay for the. Yeah, sure. Yeah. There's gonna be some options here for you. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yes, how much for the beer? How much? Yes. $17. Per beer. Yeah. Cheers. Price. Jesus Christ! Uh, I told you that's why I was trying to drink it. Trader, man. I need to know! What? What's the problem? Who's ready for some Bud Light? Bud Light. What's, what's wrong with Bud Light? A lot of things with Bud Light. Look at him complaining at the type of beer that I'm buying him. And look at me crouching down again because noodles is so short. <laughs> <laughs> You look a little taller than 4'2", though. You've grown a little since the last video. I've been drinking my milk. Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, cheers. Straight from the source. <laughs> oh. Hey, what are you looking at? But You become a patron of the arts. Wow, what a hottie. Mucho approvo. Yep, let's go. Who's got 
ticket. Oh. Hey, welcome there. <laughs> how you doing? Yeah, good. How are you, man? So Simon, you're a hockey veteran. I am. I we are not buying any Vegas merch. We're I need to get it. some Vegas merch. The only merch we're buying is Broston Bruin. Was well, that your team? That is my team. Why do you support the a Bruins. crap team? Hey, I'm in already. I don't need your ticket anymore. Are you winding me up? Listen, there's only one NHL team and that's Boston. How much for the armor? Hey, I want to wear that. Don't do it, Harold. I do not approve of this. Mm. They don't sell uh, your Boston Bruins merch here, Simon. David Pasternak. <laughs> oh, you look good David Pasternak. Patriotic hat. You need a Brad Martin at all. Like, seriously. Is it too big? No, that's how he's supposed to fit. Yep. Get a beer, a Bud Light, your favorite. Let's get the seat first. What? Noodles loves Bud Light, and here they sell Bud Light. No, I do not. Mm -hmm. oh, do they have beers at the? Oh no, they won't. Get it here. Okay. <laughs> what is your favorite? Let's see. You see this? So here's because what's funny. Because I'm in America, every day my bank cancels my card. So now noodles have no, to go and do the beer hunt for me. Listen, he's just getting noodles to pay for everything. Using his credit card. <laughs> that may or may not be the truth. <laughs> if it is the truth, it just makes me Harold Smartler. <laughs> right? Ah, there we go, look at Noodles. Noodles, there's your favorite, Bud Light. Yeah, that's that an American beer? It's kind of crap. It's crap? What's a good one? What's a good American beer, Bud Light? American beers. Right <laughs> well, what beer are you gonna drink? You're gonna go for Stella. No, I got you already. This is good. Okay, thank you. The Mexican beer. Noodles. I'm taking an Estrella. I'm taking a Mexican beer. Mexican beer. I'm going. I'm listening to that man, Estrella. <laughs> Noodles will not let me buy Estrella. Well, actually, he's the one buying, um, so he's going for some kind of Elvis beer. Try this one. Space dust. It's Elys Elysian space dust. Yes. It's 8.2%. 8, 8. Hold on, I didn't see this. You're trying to get me drunk? No, it's proper man beer. It's about time. Man, man beer? Are you saying Bud Light is a lady beer? Yes. Noodles! Look! It's the Bud Light Lounge! <laughs> That's your kind of lounge. <laughs> you, you go ahead, I'm on the set. <laughs> Me and Simon are gonna go watch the game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's some strong shit. Not my kind of beer. so good. He's stealing another one. What you don't know is the nutritional value of these is amazing. Really? It is amazing. Really? Yeah. What is up, mini maniacs? Welcome back. Before we left for the game, 
Noodles is so certain that Canucks is going to win that he moved his stuff into the bedroom. Now, I saw that. I asked him, why don't you put your money where your mouth is? I did. Did you put 200 on the Canucks? Yes, I did. So naturally, I had to then put uh, 200 on Las Vegas Knights. May the best man win. The bedroom and the money. Don't know why you're laughing. You're going to be broke and you're going to be on the inclined couch. We'll see. See who's laughing then. Yeah. It's usually me. <laughs> oh, it's not? Because you get passed out drunk anyway, so I just move you if I need. All right, editing this out. <laughs> Don't know what he's talking about. I'll carry you like a princess. Put you on your bed outside. You'd probably like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> no, I think you like that. <laughs> I'm trying to twist it around, turning it on me. <laughs> Drink your beer. <laughs> First bird is brought to you by McDonald's. Wow, McDonald's. Oh, really? <laughs> Sorry, what was the sponsor? You know well. <laughs> Better than Big Box. <laughs> My beer, so I start hard. Yeah, you started it and it was too strong for you. You gave it to me. Hey, that's not what happened. That is exactly what happened. Look at him looking all sad, losing all his money. Hey Harold! What? How what much did me? you lose? <laughs> what? I didn't lose, I'm a winner. <laughs> you lost. Here, look at this. Here's a cup. Why are you filling all up? You gotta press it twice. Ooh. Listen, here's a cup. Look at this. Okay. You take you take your whiskey. You pour it in the cup. Like so? Yeah. Then you can bring it outside. That's what I'm gonna do with my beer. They are? Ooh. Back. Yeah, give me that. <laughs> Noodles, the 
worst cameraman ever. Anyway, um, tomorrow we're going to be drinking here from early to late. So I'm going to show you this awesome street tomorrow. Now we're going to... What are we going to do? We're going to get some beers? Or, Okay, so right now you don't see too many people here, but trust me, tomorrow we're gonna be up and down this street eating food, drinking. Um, it's gonna be a blast. And it's gonna be busy. What was that? Large Coke, medium Dr. Pepper for the lady. How do you know? What do you mean, how do I know? Look at the size. Man size, girly size. They're talk, talking okay. tough again, hold on. Look, look at this let's shape. see, let's see. What? That's my beer. I'm, I'm exactly. Working on, I'm working on it. Exactly. <laughs> I'm working on it. Hold on. I've been working on it for 10 hours. 10 hours. I can work this down in 10 minutes. You need 10 hours to work down one pizza slice. No. Jesus, that's not right, man. Why do you need to take the Lord's name in vain like that? Because <laughs> I'm a good Christian. <laughs> You call me intoxicated? That is an outrage. Hey. You can't even press 37. 37. Okay, well, after like four attempts. Hey, is that something on board? Yeah. Put a privacy please sign up there. Hold on, since you both of your hands are busy. One with a whiskey and one with a... Hey. I have to put all my stuff down here. What do you do? This is the thanks I get for hiring you at the airport. I'm gonna close all the blinds because uh, really? I'm gonna be sitting <laughs> out here. <laughs> hey, what's wrong with your bed? Why do you... Man, can you keep nothing in order? There's some damn Northman. Fuck with it. Hey, no swearing on my channel. <laughs> 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 you know what I say to that? Huh? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. Uh, uh, where's Simon? He understands me. He is a real gentleman. Uh, uh, <laughs> You're going to wake up with all the blood in your body, in your <laughs> head. <laughs> <laughs> Hey! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Look at this. This is how confident he was at a Canucks victory. Look at this. Already polluting my bedroom with his toiletries and that's right. Look at this. Hey, are you gonna are you gonna get your stuff out of my bedroom? <laughs> No, are you coming in here to get your no, stuff? No. <laughs> well, if you're not coming in here to get your stuff, why are you coming in here? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm coming in to try the bed. I need some pillows. But it's not your bed. Hey. Hey, stop, stop. Uh, hey. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is what I'm talking about, man. Hey, noodles. Why are you in here so long? Hey, hey, why? That's my robe. Hey, that's my robe. <laughs> no, it's not. No. Uh, can you be mine? Jesus. I'm trying to relax in there. Oh, my God. Alexa. 
play Pound Town. I said to Ray. No, Alexa. Play Pound Town. Electric Light Orchestra from iHeartRadio. No, Alexa. Play Sexy Red. April Sexy Red Jackson from iHeartRadio. What the fuck? See, these motherfuckers are racist. All right, I'm out. All right. I'm going to work on Alexa. Good, Alexa, good night. <laughs> and if you use my toilet, put the toilet seat down. No. <laughs> leave it all hey, close the door. Alexa, it's you and me. Noodles is signing off. At home, I could help you with that. We are at home, Alexa. All right, me and Alexa are about to get serious. Alexa, could you play? Pray for plagues. I can help you with that. I am at that home. Available on this device. Alexa, can you play Pray for Plagues? Bring me the horizon. Bring me the horizon from iHeartRadio. Actually, this song is pretty good. Rise and shine, noodles. Hey. 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 <laughs> Look, at <laughs> Look at your incline. <laughs> you probably never had more blood in your head than right now. <laughs> hey, this is healthy for you. Okay? I don't think this is. I don't think this is healthy. No. Look, it's all. Hey, what's this? You're making a mess in the apartment. Why are you doing laundry in the windows? <laughs> Man, can't take you anywhere. Hey! Stop filming my dirty underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go for a steak, eh? Ready? Yeah. All right. Nothing like a steak in the morning, right? Nope. Look at that, noodles. A winning ticket. We'll see. <laughs> so yesterday I won $357. Let's see. <laughs> Do you have your ticket? Yeah? Ah. Hey, can I cash in my, my ticket, please? I'm a winner. Nice. Any bets you want to put down? Maybe. My friend also thinks he's a winner, even though we actually lost. We can check. But he reckoned there may be something wrong, so he actually won. We can try. Let me just cash you out first. So okay. I want I sat through right. I immediately started going. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, it's so heavy, my wallet. No, I may need a new wallet. <laughs> Unlike you. We don't even need a wallet because you have no money. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Not a winner. I'm taking a photo of that. <laughs> Thank you. Not a winner. <laughs> Not a winner. Not a winner. I just if there was any doubt. <laughs> let's go for um. Actually, there's a rooftop yeah, bar. Let's drink first. We're gonna start with a drink um, here at this place. Maybe play some slot machines. Yeah. Cool. Okay, we are now inside the Legacy Club, and uh, you are a whiskey man. That's one of your areas of expertise. Yes. And you picked our drink, which yes. is old fashioned. An old fashioned. Yeah. And what kind of whiskey is that? We also have the, the Gold Dust on there. I'm not sure which one they use. Old fashioned is one of the classic whiskey drink, mixed drinks. Okay. So he's gonna, I think he's making it right now. Oh, this is it. Are you making uh, the old fashioned already? Yes, sir. So what goes in there? Uh, we got some cheeky bitters and some Angostura bitters in there so far. A little ah. Amontillado sherry. I'll come a little closer here, so. A little maple syrup in there. We make a simple syrup out of it and we bricks it to 50-50, make sure it's 
very balanced. Man, you got a lot of bottles up here, a lot of exotic ones. Man. What's the most expensive whiskey you have here? The most expensive whiskey is going to be the OFC. That's old fashioned copper. That's 25 year old Happy Van Winkle. And how much a glass is that? It's $8.50 for two ounces. All right. $8.50 is $850? $850. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know, in Europe, I'm like, wow, $8.50, that's not bad. <laughs> So in this, I have all of my spirits mixed together just for speed when we're going through this. So I have some bourbon, a little Averna, and Nochino, which is a black walnut liqueur. Now it's starting to look like a fancy drink. How long have you been a bartender, if I can ask? I've been bartending for about six, seven years. Now. In, the, in this bar? No, I, we've only been open about three years. So. I'm still the newest bartender here. I've been here two and a half years. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, it doesn't get too busy up here, does it? Oh, uh, we get pretty busy. We're about to have uh, 200 people walk in in about an hour. Oh, wow. Good thing we came early then. Yes, we did. I mean, they, that's the king of Kentucky, right? Oh, Is there that, we go. Uh, king of Kentucky? Uh, king of Kentucky? No. What are you pointing at? Oh, let's see. That. No, that's 25 year old Pappy Van Winkle. That's a, that's a, yeah. So that's a Buffalo Trace product. Yeah, we got the fancy uh, cognac. Yeah, we got the Louis Trey. And you know all the fancy toes. <laughs> man, that looks fantastic. If you don't like it, I'll drink it, man. So what kind of bourbon do you want to say you uh, That one, that's going to be Jefferson Single Barrel. Okay. Ooh, I'm excited about this. This is, uh, yeah, it's going to be the first sustenance of the day, actually. Yeah. So. First of many. And yeah. They have the remedy. Remedy. Oh, this. Remedy. Wow. I've seen that one at airports. It's ridiculous, the price. Mm -hmm. Two Sharks and Wales guys. Thank you so much. Enjoy. Do you guys want to start traveling here or are just going to close the line? You want to stay or just have one drink? We're going for food, right? Yeah. Just, just one, please. Just one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see then. Good. Yeah, man, man, this was smooth as smooth as hell. Yeah. Good look choice. At, look at the ice cube. Fancy giant square. Yeah, it's gonna set us up for the for the ribeye, I think. Yep, I'm down. But bottom up. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm gonna sit there and no, I'm gonna sit there and enjoy this. I'm gonna show you guys the view after this. Just gonna take advantage of the fact that there's no people up here uh, to show you guys the view. Now, I don't think you can see it in the in the camera, but all the way over there, you can see there's still. Um, snow on the mountain peaks there. That's the strip right there. Hey, there's a drink called a girl's best friend. Sounds like something you'd be into. <laughs> I didn't get that one. <laughs> well, I know you wanted it, but you knew I was going to film. So you're we, like, we could always let's get be it. manly and do the whiskey. <laughs> How is it outside? You could have a Korean barbecue here at nighttime. Oh my. It says reserved though. I don't like that reserve sign. No. Okay, it is now, it's now five o'clock. <laughs> Haven't had any food today. Mm -hmm. That one whiskey just went straight to my head. <laughs> I think I need... As it always does. <laughs> well, uh, here we go again. One whiskey and he starts talking tough. Anyway, I think we need sustenance. Let's Stay. head down to the street level. All right. <laughs> Actually, activate Gabriel High Roller Traveler mode. So most of the floor space in these casinos 
they're dedicated to uh, machines like this. This is called Buffalo Diamond. And when I was growing up, the first time I came to Vegas, and when I used to play slot machines on the Dunsky boat, we call it in Norway. It is the, the boat that, uh, so yeah, you can't gamble in Norway, um, but you can gamble on the boat to Denmark. So that was my first introduction to gambling. And um, there used to be, you know, bar, 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 and then you win. Three bars, you know, you win lots of money. Now, on these new machines, I don't even understand how you win. So this one is called Money Slam. Play. Mutual Confuso. When do I win? <laughs> Louis, you're struggling with the machine too. Hey, where'd you go? Hey, this is, this is broken. It's so hard to work, eh? Yeah. Whatever happened to bar, bar, bar? <laughs> okay. This is this is what I call the senior problems. <laughs> don't understand the machines. Don't know how to understand how to play. It's what happens when you're 40 up when you you try to play these uh, machines that are obviously made for a different generation. The Buffalo Diamond is not for you. <laughs> Buffalo. <laughs> So, right across the goal, right across there, is the golden nugget. Alright, good luck. <laughs> Trying to set me up. <laughs> so, Vegas have a ton of exceptionally fantastic restaurants to eat at, but uh, as far as value for money is concerned, this is the best value I have found in the entire town. The ribeye here is something like $40, um, and it's as good as what you get in restaurants that charge three times that. So, uh, let's see. I remember this. <laughs> yeah, it's like an aquarium and so on out there, isn't it? Yeah. Water, uh, water wine. Yeah. Ah, uh, here we go. Ribs, chops, poultry. Let's sit at the bar. Yeah. Ah. Hey, can I sit at the bar? It's okay? Yeah. Thank you. I'm okay, how are you? Good, good. <laughs> this is my favorite steak place in all of Las Vegas. Uh, this guy will hook you up. Um, what, what, what is your best seller here? The bone-in ribeye. The bone-in ribeye. Bone-in ribeye. What did I have the last time I was here? It was the, the first time you were here. You had the bone-in ribeye. The second time, I think you had the porterhouse, and then the third time, I think you had the um, the, 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 the New York strip. Well, oh, you remember every time. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go for the the Pat's ribeye, the Pat's 16, ounce. 16 ounce. Yeah. This is gonna be together, sir. Together, please. Yeah. What What do you fancy today? Let's see. I, I do love my uh, baby back ribs. The baby back ribs? Yeah, fall off the bone. That's what you're gonna have, the barbecue pork ribs and shrimp? Yes. Both of you guys get sides with your orders. And uh, would you like your shrimp grilled or fried? Fried. Fried. I will go for the baked potato again, yeah, please. Yeah. Just uh, the wrong. With uh, the butter and the sour cream. Yeah. And then a Dr. Pepper, please. Would you like anything to drink? Can I have a Dr. Pepper or anything, please? Um, I'll take a Coke, please. Noodles. This bread is better than heaven. <laughs> Let's get your reaction here. Mm. Heavenly, right? Yeah. Like, it's very hard. In my opinion, Norway and Denmark, we have the best bed. Uh, oh, Jesus, that whiskey. 
the best bread in the world. Um, so it's very hard for me to be impressed by, by bread. But um, this Vegas bread is mucho impresivo. Jesus Christ, that whiskey. Making a mess. Making, making a mess. mess. Hey, who are you to complain about making a mess? You made a mess in my room. Hey. Let me room. Hey. That is my room, all right? <laughs> Heaven. Mm. All right, let's dig in. Yep. Thank you. Cool. Thank you. Let's see that. The breakfast of champions. The night is upon us, and that is when Fremont Street is really coming alive. Yep. So, whoa, the fire ship. See that? Yes, yeah, a fire ant. Fire ant. <laughs> but <laughs> the fire ant is not what we plan to film. <laughs> we are going to walk the entire length of Fremont Street. What? It's like blowing fire and stuff. You're right. That is pretty cool. Hold on, let's go a little closer. I'll show you guys the fire ant. Anyway, the plan is to walk here and have some beers, have some drinks, and talk to some uh, interesting people that we meet on this street. I'm gonna hurry up so that he doesn't stop sprouting fire by the time I arrive. Crazier and crazier. This is a great place to start again. We are going to walk the entire length of uh, Fremont Street. We, meaning me and me. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> noodles. <laughs> and uh, we're going to have some beers. We're going to see if we can meet some interesting people. Should we do this one? Hold on. This looks pretty cool actually. It says, we buy gold, silver, collector's gallery. Beer, wine, liquor, and vapes. I don't, I don't. It's collectible, it's it, 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 it doesn't get more American than that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see then. Hey, how's it going? Thank you. I saw on your sign, you actually have antiques in here? Yeah, inside. So the first half of the shop, we do have the hot liquor, the bubble ash, and for the beer. And the second half, we do have the gold, diamond, silver, coin collectible. So you get, people come, you get people coming in here and they want liquor and antiques? <laughs> that, that's awesome. <laughs> this guy, on, yeah, just like our owner, he's, he, he's the veteran for the shop, for the pawn shop. Ah, okay. So it's, uh, it's a pawn shop with liquor and... Uh, kind of. I would say kind of. Let's, uh, let's see then. Hey! I hear you have antiques in here. I am, yeah, yeah. I, I just came in here. Uh, is this your shop? Yeah. Nice. So we're just making a video about Fremont Street, buying some beers, but then he told me you also have antiques in here. Yeah. Could we have a look? That's an antique too. It's some great stuff. I always get something. What did you buy here? I just bought that, a little uh, match safe. Probably a match safe book holder, probably from the... From Normandy? From Normandy, yeah. That is so cool. Probably from like the 40s, I'm guessing, yeah. something roughly like that. Wow, that's Amazing. awesome. Right? Cool. Nice. Good stuff. Look around. Cool All stuff. All right. Should, Should we grab... A... You too. Should we grab a beer first, or...? Uh, yeah. I that's saw... why we came here to begin with. You were going to show me some American beers. <laughs> See, I like the Voodoo Ranger, but you know, you just 
a little bit too strong for you. So. What is the most popular beer here in Modelo. Fremont? Modelo. That's not American, is it? Mexican. What's Mexicans the most? Love Modelo. What's the most popular American beer? That's tough to say, but you know, what line is most popular because of advertising. Okay. You know. I'm having a bud then. Because I'm a. A patriotic American, unlike my friend here. <laughs> Which one are you having? I'm gonna go with the Blue Ranger. Yeah. Blue Ranger. Yeah. Blue Ranger. Their IPA, so you might not like it. Yeah, let's see. This looks pretty. The Pale Ale Sierra Nevada. Yeah, get that one then. You should get that. <laughs> yeah. What are you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> well, you, now your beer is so colorful. Maybe I should go for a colorful beer too. Put that one back in. I'm going for the Maximus. Actually, it's an IPA. You get the, Maybe get I'll this. do that one. Yeah. You could do it here. You're an IPA fan? Look at that. Maximus. Yeah. All right. Let's do that. And then we look at antiques. Yep. All right. All right. I'll start with these two and then we'll have a look at the antiques. Yeah, we're gonna have a look. But Maybe uh, should we get an energy drink? No. Later on? <laughs> Strict alcohol diet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come you're too far away. <laughs> this one you cannot open inside the shop. Oh, you cannot? Yeah. Ah, okay. We'll, we'll wait then. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's look at the antiques. Man, he was not joking. They're selling rings here. So I guess you don't have a tea thing for the bourbon. Look at that, the gun silver necklace. That is so cool. Turgunkin. Turgunkin. A turgunkin is a turkey inside a duck inside a chicken. Okay. You know about this. No, I don't. <laughs> Sorry, I'm European, I'm a bit slow. <laughs> Do you have anything else from Normandy, like that gentleman bought before? Well, no, yeah. but here, we want the Europeans here, they always love this guy. Oh, really? <laughs> He's being hung, strung up. That's from the 40s. That's the second. Yeah, Herman. I collect native. I collect uh, African primitives. That's been my collection for 50 years. Oh wow! Nobody buys it. It's too expensive. It's museum quality. But it is for sale. And not really. It's for look. Nobody's going to buy it. It's too expensive because they don't understand. Also, it sounds like you want to keep it, and even if someone put in a bid for it. But no, why so? I mean, you know, it's out. There's a price, but you know, it'll never sell. So this mask, for example, what would that cost? Probably 15,000. 15,000? Where is it from? This one? Well, it's African. What country? Probably Cameroons. Oh, what? Any idea what the mask was used for? What, where it... Okay. You fancy an African mask? I don't want to hmm. go into it too deep. Man, what a cool shop! Okay, now we can open our beers. Yep. You're in charge of a beer opening. I think this is yours, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Man, man, believe that man. Nah. <laughs> you want a beer? Yeah, believe that man. Well, noodles, you haven't even opened your beer, and already people have won it. Yep, everybody wants huh. beer. There you okay, go. Okay, cheers. Hold on, 16 <laughs> minutes in. You know, that should, that should be me because I lost all my money. <laughs> Why do you keep losing money? I don't know. Actually, we should just buy more beers. I think a lot of people here would appreciate beers. Hey, how are you doing? What, what, what trick are you performing with the ball? Yeah, I just hit it. Yeah? yeah. You used to yeah. box? Nah, yeah, I train boxing. I got to get back in the gym. All my stuff got going like been in the gym. Damn. I just, hell, I got stuck on this, I just hit this ball. Okay. <laughs> the ball <then. laughs> Do you get any, does anyone help you out with that or? Yes. Yeah, like, 
like how much could you could you get in a in one day from that? Uh, on the strip, on the strip, I do all right. Down here, I don't do that good. But I ain't got my boxing clothes, and I ain't been doing it all that much. But I mean, it just depends. If I do it all day, I'll at least make forty, fifty dollars. Forty, fifty in one day. Yeah, but some days, you know, might we'll make a hundred. All right. I'll be fucking off the casino. He's all right. Yeah. Are you all right? <laughs> Why not? Oh, that sucks. Yeah. yeah. I'll be trying to be the number one fighter in the land. Be, you were a real fighter. Stay healed. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm the number one fighter in the land, I say, but I gotta stay healed. I gotta get my hand wraps built. But if you make more money up there, why would you come down here? Well, everybody was up there. All the strippers and all the photo girls and stuff were up there. And I'm so if you go there, they... So, so here's the thing. Once you're up there, there's like a circle you have to be in, right? Yeah. So you're saying all the all the girls in bikinis have taken the circle. Yeah. So you don't I get just, a spot. Yeah, I'm just down here messing around. Yeah. Okay. I'll be gone later, but... The police kicked me off the strip. I gotta get loud back on the strip. The strip's where I do better. I think I do my best. They don't best want you the there, so that's why you came down here. Yeah, I came down here. I go down there in one of them circles. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah. Hope hope to see you either up there then when the when the bikini girls leave or up on the strip one day. Yeah, maybe maybe you see me on one day TV. I'm trying to fight. Floyd Mayweather, but I can't get the fight. You, you want to fight Floyd Mayweather? Yeah. Really? Well, may, maybe here's oh, your. Or, or Jake Paul. <laughs> I, I want to fight. I'll fight Jake Paul too. Jake Paul. Yeah. Jake Paul, this is this is a, this is a challenge to you. Jake Paul um, or Floyd Mayweather? Which one would you prefer, Floyd Mayweather or Jake Paul? Floyd Whoever. Who'd be the easiest fight, Jake or Floyd? Probably Jake. Maybe Jake. It's still probably be a hard fight. He's though. pretty good though. Yeah. It's I don't know anything about boxing, but he looks pretty good. He's pretty good boxer. Yeah. All right. Good luck. Good luck. Nice to meet you. Yeah. yeah. Do you want a drink or anything? Or no, you're good. Okay. Hey, what's your guys' podcast? I don't have a podcast. I'm making YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Harold. Harold. Harold, Harold Balder. Balder where? From Norway. Norway. Where are you guys from? Are you from Norway too? No. <laughs> hey, you guys be safe. You too, you too. All right, so what was I going to say? Um, who would you rather fight? Jake Paul or Floyd Mayweather? Nobody. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Yeah, but let's say that you had to... It was life or death. It was you against either Floyd or Jake Paul. Jake Paul. You'd fight Jake Paul? Yeah. Why? Because he's white? <laughs> why are you trying to be racist, man? No, I'm, I'm saying, racist, why, why are you racist? Why do you want to fight the white man? Well, Floyd is one of the greatest boxers ever. Jake Paul is one of the greatest boxers ever. Okay. You keep telling yourself that. <laughs> okay. Uh. Where do we go? Now, next stop is yours. Should we have a beer? No, actually, we still have a beer. Hold on, 21 minutes. Maybe I should put this down. And should we continue when we're... Uh... Yeah, should we stand here and finish our beer? Okay. Uh, we're going to get to work on this and then we're going to enter... For... Actually, here's what we're going to do. Can you read that? Yeah, this is called pussy. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why aren't we in there? Right? You, 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 you're saying, ah, you can't think of a single reason why we are not inside disco pussy. I do have a re reason that are open. Ah, it's closed. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say because you can't come up with a reason we should go. <laughs> but all right. Let's, uh, we're gonna get to more drinking and then uh, we'll be back when uh, we enter Fremont Street. My mind already have gone. Mine too. No, it isn't. <laughs> yes, it is.
whiskey and pizza. Cheers, guys. Woo, fire. <laughs> what was that? Buffalo Trace. It's good bourbon. Your favorite? Yeah, one of my favorite. Cheap bourbon, you said. Yes. But now it's hard to find, or hard to buy. It's become popular? Yes, they became extremely popular. People started writing about it, saying... So you're a trendsetter? Well, I try not to be, because... You, you drank it before it was cool. Right. I try to keep the good stuff to myself. Of course, right after we filmed, they turn on the good music. So another toast. Cheers. Go. There. We are at the start of Fremont Street proper and we're gonna go for some beers and maybe alcohol. some yeah, I, I, you summed it up pretty nicely. Alcohol, that's why we are here. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to, so we, we just sat down for a whiskey and you had a very good explanation for uh, what happened back there with a, with a guy in the wheelchair and why he is not here. Yeah, basically he's on the bottom of the homeless hierarchy. So like anybody here with like any like trays, like uh, dancers. Like you rappers. said, the hot girls were muscling him out. We're going to show you soon these circles uh -huh. that performance have to, performers have to stay inside. Right. And he said they kind of muscle him out yes. of there. Because they're okay. the favorite ones. Because obviously, you know, they're not, they're not threatening, they don't smell, they don't bother nobody. And he looks good and for the street. And they look good for the street. Yeah, right. the Makes everybody two girls happy. in a bikini. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But yeah, so well, we're also going to talk to... Uh, here we see, so here's here's a guy in the circle. Let's see. Pay it forward, think positive. What's up? What, what are you doing? You're playing drums. Yeah, that's what I do. Can I ask you about this circle here? Is this like your circle or do you have to come in early and get it every day? It's just first come, first serve. So is this circle here as good as one further up the road with more people? Yeah, People not statues, they walk. Yeah. So, so it doesn't matter really. No, it don't matter where you went, but people not statues, they gonna walk. You know, here, there. <laughs> oh. you ain't looking at me. There we go. Cheers. <laughs> Sign though about two for one. I guess it's over. Maybe that was half the hour. Yes, we are. Half off cover right here. Half off what? Cover. Okay, there's a cover. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Half off. Well, we're not gonna pay some cover charge to go to karaoke, are we? No. What about the? Is the second one karaoke too? Yeah, it says karaoke and entertainment. No. Yeah. Never mind. Let's just walk up there. shopping. Oh, look at this guy. He's doing a magic show. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, sir. Hello, how are you? I'm great. It says here that you do extreme comedy magic show. <laughs> Watch the stick. Oh, crap. Sorry. Jesus. That was just strange. That's what eight years of cocaine does to the brain. 
<laughs> Grab any card you want. Don't well, what does 20 it. do? <laughs> I don't think I want to know. I stopped at 8. All right. <laughs> Find it. Don't cut yourself. That's a sharpie. Find it on the face side. I'll what take the signing? marker back when you're done. Take the marker back first. Okay. Remember, you value your education. Stay in school and on plot. It's legal in Vegas. But whatever you do, don't snip markers once you do. I go right through you. I'll take your card back. Jesus. Don't forget it. Otherwise, the trick's going to suck. Okay. I'll lose it in the deck. Where are you from? Norway. Norway. So, uh, welcome to the United States. Glad you could join us. I'll give the deck a shuffle. The longer you let me shuffle, the fancier I get. Keep shuffling. This is my quad shuffle. This is the Pharaoh shuffle. They used to do it back in ancient Yu-Gi-Oh times. This is called a spin out. Me and some drunk friends created it because we'd always get dizzy and fall down. That's what happens when you drink and spin around. This is the double cut. Got a casino to make sure you're not cheating at poker. The backflip. Because I'm getting too old to do one of those anymore. When, when are you, you going to stop him shuffling? <laughs> what happened last night? The ballerina. Impressive. Nice move. Are you what? happy? Yep. I'll show you I'm not holding on to Now, I'm going to attempt to find your card behind my back. But if I get it wrong, I want you to give me one more try to get it right. Are you ready? Here we go. Was this your card? Got it? Check the knot. <laughs> Hold on. It Check the knot. Going anywhere? I'm scared. It's not going anywhere. No. Hold tight. One. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> hey, hold this. <laughs> How the fuck can you do that? <laughs> Don't try to figure that out. Let's see if it's not that. Uh, okay, okay. Yeah. I'm gonna start up with my grand finale for you guys. This is the greatest thing I figured out how to do in all 31 years of my life. But in order to do it, I need to borrow something valuable off of any one of you who has a bill bigger than a 10. If you do, pull it out and sign it, you'll get it right back. <laughs> I got rusty ATM. <laughs> I got it. I'm signing. Mark it in such a way you know it's yours. Is that your signature? Yes. I like that signature. Is that Andrew Jackson? Alright, watch close. He's just done two things in life you should never do. Commit a federal offense and trust a magician with your money. Or roll your $20 bill up like a funnel. Have you ever used a funnel? Changing car oil, siphoning gas, beer bong. What about a straw? You guys ever used a straw? 
I'm used to funnel. <laughs> Take the top off the top of the wise once said it's not just magic if you can make something vanish. They said it's only really magic. You can bring it back in a creative and unique way. Cheers. <laughs> Why it's nasty? What is it? It's uh it's nice and warm is what it is. <laughs> he liked it. <laughs> We're still going bigger, better and further with the $20 bill. Let's close. I'll fold it in half once. Twice. Three times a lady! And then have a four time. I'll push your $20 bill right there in my hand. Double or nothing, what chance it in? No, that's my right, guess again. No, that's why you don't gamble with the magician. Now, if you stick around for the rest of the show, I promise your signed $10 bill is coming back from an impossible location. But before I bring back your signed $5 bill, Money's going down. Yeah, blame Joe Biden for deflation. Yeah, you do actually. I do. <laughs> Here we go. Don't blink. If you blink, you're gonna miss it. If you know how it works, catch your aces. <laughs> no, I'm not that good. I'm not that good. We'll give it one more shot. Don't blink. Pretty good. You know what my favorite spot on the cube is though? It's that golden yellow spot. What fruit does that remind you of? That's right, a lemon. You know what your parents said about lemons? Actually, they didn't tell me anything about lemons, but okay. You said they said make lemonade? Your parents lied to you. They're trying to make you do everything the hard way. Because my parents taught me that money grows on trees. So, if you skip a step, you don't have to make lemonade. You could just take lemons and make money. I hate to see you leave, but let's go! Light a cowboy! That's his signed $20 bill. My name is Casey Hunter, the magician. Thank you all for watching the show. That was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. By the way, nice hits. Follow me on social media at Amazing Hatter. M A Z I N G H A T T E R. Okay. That's on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Is this yours, sir? So, technically speaking, no. No circles belong to no performance. So you have to be here early. That's what uh, it's guy down there said. Yes, no. Yes, no. So the way the circles work is this. Um, they're first come, first serve, priority basis. So what time do you have um, to be here to get to circle? Two hours beforehand, technically. Before so, what? Before when you want to work in it. So it's first come, first serve. Da, 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 da. There's no easy way to explain it. So I'll just show you as quick as, as we can. You need to have like a performer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have to have a performer number, and then every day between 10 a.m. and 7:30 p.m., you come in, select your selection between 3 and 1 a.m. Okay. Between 3 p.m. and 1 a.m., and then every day they run a random lottery. So there is a system then. I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. There's a full system, and then the random lottery every day prints out. And if you have an uh, assigned spot, it will be highlighted on the schedule. Okay. Just like, wow. Yeah. Because we so. know somebody that uh, he said he got picked up. Right. So if he says that the to that circle that shows up for that rotating hour period, uh, they have priority. Move. They have priority and you have to go somewhere so else. So this guy we met down there, he said all the girls, the hot girls in bikini, 
the smart sling him out to this area, so he moved down there. Right, and a, and a lot of the, the showgirls people don't know this. Um, they're breaking all kinds of rules out here. They're charging prices. Performers aren't legally allowed to set a price. Um, it's a tip. Right, it's yeah. it's all it's all tip based. So like, whereas in the show, I'm like. Let me borrow a $20 bill because I had full intentions of giving you said $20 bill back. Now, whatever you want to give me at the end is your tip. That's fine. Yeah. I don't mind. I'm, I'm glad with whatever ten bucks I get. Sometimes I get 100 sometimes I get 5 You know, it all just depends on the crowd, what they like, if they like the show enough. But we're not supposed to set a price. Most of the showgirls do that. Most of the showgirls else out here also have duplicate numbers, meaning more than one number which is also illegal. So they can get the spot more often. Right, right. Because they're rocking four or five numbers registering and then getting two or three spots a day. Okay. Versus one where everyone else is getting. Okay. Interesting. Thank you. I'm, I'm always curious oh, about it. And what any kind of business is like. You know, what it's like to... Because this is a business. Right, right. And, and I always appreciate hearing the ins and outs of, of kind of a trade. So right. we're not going to take more of your time because more people are going to see the magic. But thank you. No, thank, thank you so guys. much. It was a pleasure. Good luck. What? What's the meaning? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> <laughs> Does it? Yes, he does. <laughs> Jesus, these are pretty cool. Man, I maybe I should buy these for one of my subscribers. <laughs> subscribers, you know you want it for yourself. <laughs> hey, why are you gonna help me like that? <laughs> In and out. <laughs> it's four o'clock. Let's continue. Okay, the music is a little better now. Let's, uh, I want to buy one of those, hold this one for a second. I want to buy one of the necklaces. So now that we've heard so much about these uh, uh, girls in bikinis that kind of muscle out all the other street performers, we're going to have to talk to one of them. But before that, we need to uh, put it up. We need to deck ourselves out in some jewelry. Um, and here we go. Let's have a look. Maybe get one of these Vegas. Well, that's a Texas. Which one do you like? It's this guy. How much are these? Uh, can you get two for forty? Ah, uh, you can't bargain. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Thirty-five for one necklace. Man, what are they made of? Are they gold or? It's that premium twenty-four karat plastic. 24 carat prostate? Yeah, premium. 24 carat What's a prostate? Plastic. Plastic. Oh, I was, like, I was like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm not sure I want that. Prostate's in the butt, I guess. I know, I know. I was like, wow, wow. Yeah, Who would buy that? They're not made out of intestines. Oh, okay, that's good, that's good. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Do you want one? Uh, <laughs> man, my hearing's getting a... Uh, this is a warning. To those of you who may be watching my channel and you are in your early 20s or late teens and you're into metal music. Yes, life is awesome as a fan of metal, but your hearing is going to start to deteriorate once you hit your 40s. Uh, but that's the thing, you're not a metal man and your hearing is horrible. <laughs> it's been like that for years. I take back my warning. Look, we'll have to get a picture with the guy. Hey, this looks like your kind of guys. <laughs> you want a photo? No, for you. <laughs> <laughs> Look how happy she is. That could be you. <laughs> Why? Are you going to run back after I stop filming? Maybe. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go. Here's the performer. Yeah. Yeah, but she's, uh, she doesn't look too, I don't know, her whip, it makes her look scary. Yeah. You look very scary. I was, gonna, I was telling my viewers, you look very scary. No, right now. Sorry. Okay. I told you she was scary. She doesn't want to talk to us. 
let's find some of those uh, girls in the circle that want to talk to us. <laughs> USA! USA! <laughs> I feel we're walking too far now without drinks. What? That's how real man drinks. Why are you having Gatorade? Because uh, professional drinkers, you have to stay hydrated. With Gatorade or yes. whiskey? Both. Really? Yes. That's news to me. <laughs> That's because you're a lightweight princess. Here he goes again. Bad mouthing me, slandering me. Just because I started filming. <laughs> Cheers. Not just filming, but you filming and you won money. Well, uh, is that a camera? It's a camera, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. It's a DJI Mavic. It's made by the enemy, but it's a good camera. Oh, no, so you digital download it. On yeah, the computer and you... yeah, it's not live. It's not live. Oh, okay. I have to download it to the computer, right? Yeah, yeah. I've never seen that. Oh, you want to try it? Just hold it and press that one three times. One, two, three. Fast. One, two, three. Oh! Press it again. One, two, three. I'll be there. That's cool. Pretty full tech, guys. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> Where are you from? Thank you. Where are you from? Virginia. Alright. Virginia. East Coast. Coast. Yeah. West Virginia. Coast of West Virginia. West Virginia is north and west out. Virginia is two different states. Actually, two different states. Yes. Wow. Learn something new every day. That's how dumb I am. I thought it was the same place. Yeah, you, you, not from, I'm from Norway. <laughs> Norway. Yeah, yeah. I thought West Virginia was the actual state. Yeah, you got West Virginia. West I thought Virginia. that was the only Virginia there was. No, it They're... separated during the Civil War because of the slavery. Okay. You're familiar with slavery in the United States? Of course, of course. Okay. The Civil War ended 1865, yeah, right? Yeah, uh, Virginia wanted to fight to keep the slavery. West Virginia said, hell no. So they separated. Prior to that, it was just Virginia. I'm sorry, say again? Prior to that, it was just Virginia. Yes. It, it, then fact, it became two states, you say. Virginia covered about maybe 50% of the East Coast at one time because it, Virginia was named after one of the royals in England or something. Oh, wow. And it was a huge state. Oh, someone's sitting there. Sure. Trying to sit down. Sorry. <laughs> Are you back on the blue deck? Yes. <laughs> sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's good. good talking to you. Good talking to you, man. Yeah, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Two Virginians. Cheers, cheers. 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 Two West Virginia. Oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. I also have hearing problems. Don't worry. <laughs> have a good night, guys. <laughs> All right. Um, I, no, I, I was filming with my camera, and he, he started asking me, hey, what kind of camera is it? It's yeah, giving me an American history lesson. Absolutely. It's nice. Yeah. Okay. You rotate between three? Yeah, I mean, you press this one three times. Okay. Okay. Then you get the bartender. Yeah. And you press it again three times. Okay. One, two, three. And then we're back it up. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. nice. All right, cheers. To beer and whiskey. And blue that. Absolutely. I need no one. You're on a blue dab. Yeah. Bourbon, beer, blue dab. Okay. Yeah. You want another blue dab? I'll get your blue dab. Absolutely. Let's go. Can we have one more blue dab, please? Yeah. Apparently, this is the drink in this bar. Blue dab. Should I get a double? Maybe bartender would like one too. Would you like one? No. You can't drink. We're giving you one. <laughs> one. I don't want you to get too drunk. One. <laughs> you, you better catch a lift home, you said. A single. A single. <laughs> a single. <laughs> hold on. Let's see how they make the blue death. Ah, hold on. Wow. So, in here is the blue death. So, what's that? That's pineapple juice? Yeah. And. 
Can I have a look at that? Okay, rum. It sounds like your kind of drink. Yeah, 151 is very strong. You gotta mix it. This sounds Colombian. Colombian? Yeah, Surat Sao. Isn't that in Venezuela or Colombia? No, 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 no. Okay. I was trying to be fancy. I was like, hey, that sounds Colombian. She's like, hey, that's Kentucky. Kentucky, <laughs> Bucky. There we go. That is the blue death. It looks kind of green. I know. Which makes me think it's a scam. It should be called Green Death. What do you think? Why, why did you name it Green Death? I don't know. I just work here. Let's see if it comes bluier with this one. No, because the pineapple. Yeah. All right. One Green Death coming up. <laughs> But I got all kinds of treasures in here. But she gets two. She gets two? And what about those for me? Oh, shit. Those are just vodka. Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't want that. Alright. Let's start with you then. And your whiskey. Cheers. Cheers. And then me. Cheers, guys. And then. Death. Green death. <laughs> blue death. Blue, blue death. Blue death. Cheers. By the way, can I can I have a look at that can again? I just want to show the the beer because it's a, it's a special one. It's not special. It's one of the oldest beers. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's, here's, the, here's the thing. My friend told me about a special beer that is very low class and very bad. Everyone here laughing at me. They're saying, hey, that's a good beer. That's not a bad beer, including you. Yeah. Okay, here we go. It's called Blue Ribbon. So you know this beer? Yes. Thank you. Do you drink this beer? It, but it's a common beer. Yeah, like back in the 80s, that was no. not really popular. But I'm having two, it's a good one. Back in the yeah. The uh, blue cloth. Uh, blue cloth. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. Drink that. You and I, back in the 80s, were not into beer because we're young and healthy. Yeah. My friend is very old. He's from the 70s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's the difference. Yep. So, okay, so you know, you know what you're talking about. We're not going to yep. fight you on this one. You know what you're talking uh -huh. about. <laughs> What about like 90, uh, they were like, it fell out of fashion. So both, wow. both wines are too cold, I think. Imagine being so yes. old, you know what fell out of fashion in the 70s. Oh my God. <laughs> Still? Yeah. We're, obviously, we're not into punk rock. <laughs> well, you know, maybe. We'll you, see. You like this music? Yeah. Who is it? I'm no, it's sure. it is drowning pool. Drowning pool, you know. <laughs> she knows. <laughs> what an awesome bar! I must say, that was a cool bar. Yes, it was. Now, hopefully, okay, hopefully now there is live music in the streets, so we can, unless there's live music, labels are just gonna take every scene down. So, yeah, let's go. Hey, wait, I saw that. What? That looked like sexy red. <laughs> You see that? Hey, I know what you were doing. You're like, hey, is that sexy red? <laughs> hey, don't talk about baby mama. <laughs> Your baby mama? Baby mama. Hey. <laughs> Are you drunk? <laughs> no. Why aren't you wearing that? No, because I'm never drunk. 
Okay. Should we do the zip line? We should do the zip line. So here's the thing, if the van comes on right now, I can walk around in here and talk to people. Look, there's a nun. I'm gonna ask her about the Pope. Where's the nun? Right there. We have two more tasks to accomplish. We want to do the zip line and we want to actually talk to some of those. So those are kind of more like a dominatrix type of girls. Yeah. We want to talk to some of those showgirls show wearing the the feathers and all that. And oh here we go. That's so America. Why do Americans drive cars like that? Because it's fucking awesome. That's why. Watch out. You got a shirt. I'm watching, don't worry. You got a shirt. Hey, do you have a dog? Yeah, can you go? Yeah, no, I can, I can kind of see you from. <laughs> my dog and my blanket. What kind of dog do you have? Uh, Barney or Terrier? I don't know, a white fuzzy blanket. All right. Doesn't help either. <laughs> Hey, what's he saying? Translate for European. I, I ain't even here, man. Okay. I am now officially little drunk. Oh, really? Just a little. Wow, this is the first time he's ever admitted to that on camera. Getting buzzed. All right. Which means it is whiskey o'clock. <laughs> we're having we having more. <laughs> hey, let's walk. Let's jay walk. I'm going. Hey, you're next. Hey, come on. I already got whipped. You're next. <laughs> Why, you don't want one more? <laughs> it's your turn. <laughs> Hey, that could be you. <laughs> it was me. That, no, it could be you again. I don't like police brutality. This is what it has come to. I'm at, I'm at Nacho Daddy. 
and noodles has forced me to... You guys know I hate tequila. What do you mean force me? Look, look at this. Hey. You may hear him talking tough in the background. Whatever he's saying and trying to convey, it's all lies. No one's turning anything anyway. I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to survive. He's clearly trying to poison me. If you guys don't see me after this, it was Noodles who did it. Well, you're not supposed to chew it. I, I'm a chewer. It's good. Not as bad as I thought. Geraldo approves of Nacho Daddy. Signing off. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Turn around. Wait, what are you doing? Look, want to have it a beer? Of course, light. Why do you have a beer in your hand? Look at this. I also had a Nacho Daddy. Me too. Right here. Where's your beer? Hey, I finished my drinks. Really? Yes. Unlike is that, somebody. Is that well I am finishing my drink. <laughs> it will soon be finished. Well, guys, this is unbelievable. I don't know why you turned on the camera to shame me. So look at this. a serenade of my drinking capabilities. Look at this. Look oh at my this. God. One not shame. only am I multitasking with beer, shame. I'm also doing shots at the same time. Shame. There's no shame. 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 Even the lady finished her drink. Do you want to? Do you want to come into my suite or not? <laughs> or you're going to be like this inside hey, the It's suite? my suite. <laughs> no, it's not your suite. Where's your key? Look at this. Why do I have the key to the suite? I have it in my pocket. Really? Yep. Show me. I marked my territory. Open it up. Show me. Where's your key? Well, I'm multitasking oh, like you well, said. Well, hey, so you can't show me, can you? Kind of a poor excuse. <laughs> it's called Nordman Why excuse. Are you Why are you polluting the suite with your hey, keys? Hey, look at this. Uh, Why is this dude? <laughs> what is this, this rotten old cookie doing hey, on the bottom? Hey, leave my food alone, all right? That's my midnight snack. Oh, what's this? What is this some kind? Are you on drugs? Yes, ecstasy. Uh, really? <laughs> Why does it say emodium? <laughs> <laughs> I got ripped off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> no wonder you're broke. <laughs> hey. Why is your bed on an incline? <laughs> Who speaks like this? <laughs> well, somebody lied to me. They promised me a nice bed <laughs> for camera work. My it looks, expertise. It looks kind of nice. Why is it on an incline? Hold on. <laughs> Relax. Oh man, Jesus Christ! Hey, oh. don't be spilling my <laughs> beer on my bed. Hey, no, how are you alive? You slept like this yesterday. Because I'm a real man. I have extra blood. <laughs> Kind of comfy, but you would you would wake up kind of, you know, with a heavy head, wouldn't you? Yep. Ah, all right. My head is always heavy anyway. Oh man, why are you doing laundry? I'm not doing laundry. I'm just letting it out, you know. Why are you feeling? I'm trying to relax what? with the beer. I'm just I just wanted to come to my suite, relax with the coarse light. Why How long you, does it take you to why drink are you a beer? And acting up? Oh my god. Oh. This is ridiculous. Can a, white, can a white man just relax in his suite? <laughs> no. <laughs> Without his Korean, North Korean communist stalker following him home. <laughs> like pointing this camera in his face. Finish your drink, uh, man. Oh, my listen, God. Listen, I will finish my drink. Unlike you, who don't finish your meals or your drinks and start pill popping in other people's apartments. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. Shame. You know, you used to be such a cool guy. I don't know what happened. Alexa. Alexa. You're lucky. Alexa doesn't even listen to me. <laughs> if Alexa were to listen to me, <laughs> there, were, there was going to be a wall of sound about to hit you right now. <laughs> I think we're going to get complaining if you play Pound Town right now. Let's see. <laughs> Hold on. Wait here. <laughs> Alexa. Look at this, sad. Even Alexa doesn't listen to him. At home, I could help you with 
How did you turn on Bluetooth so I can play music from your personal device? Alexa, you're a slut. <laughs> Alexa, Alexa, hung up on me. We had an argument. Yeah, because you call her a slut. <laughs> She's a slut. She wouldn't play sexy way. Oh. Look at this. It's 2024. It's 2024, and an Northman in Vegas can't even ask Alexa to play the number one hit in the country, Pound Town. Well, you're going to get canceled now because uh, you call Alexa a slut. Alexa is a slut. All right, guys. Look at, look at him. Babying his drink, <laughs> milking it. <laughs> Look at so you. So sad. <laughs> okay, come here. Look at your baby and your cookie. Like, what is this? Hey, why is there it's a not cookie, it's why, bread. Why is there a half-eaten cookie? Emergency food. It's not happening. It's, it's brand emergency. new. Why do you need emergency food in a, in a city with 24-7 restaurants, even in our hotel? Why do you need emergency food? Why is it... Hey, emergency. Just stay in that case, okay? Oh, man. man. I'm sitting now with my nacho daddy shot glass. Oh, man. Guys, we're signing out because this is really sad to watch. Why? why, why? I'm why signing do expect, out. Do you expect looking at an old man, no. 42 years old, drinking a course line <laughs> in his suite? You, you expected it not to be a sad watch? Hey, didn't you, <laughs> didn't you think uh, you were 43 today? No, I'm 42. Uh -huh. Oh, man. Hey, hold on. Nature calls. You gotta go to one of the toilets. All right. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm signing off. Where are you guys from? Norway. Really? Okay. Are you from you? Norway? Yeah, where are you from? I'm from New Mexico. What brings you guys to Vegas? Food. Oh, I'm a big foodie myself. And, and losing money in his case. <laughs> That's okay. So what are you girls? You show girls. Yep. You know we are good luck. Harold. What's up? Bob. I'm right. Crystal. Nice to meet you. Hello. Nice to meet you. Hi, Harold. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Second time. Okay, I was there some years animal. ago. Yes. Wow. Can we embarrass so what, a little bit? Yes, you can. So what, what do you do? Is it like how much do you charge for a photo or tips. is it? We ask you to be generous. Tips. All right. How about you answer some questions instead for my video? Okay, in the middle. You got three, okay? <laughs> three questions? Three questions. I want three okay, questions. Okay, I want three questions. Okay. Uh, how much can you make in a day walking around the Master Showgirls? A couple of money. I don't want to like answer that because that kind of puts us in danger. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. Let's make a, a non-money question however, then. However generous the crowd is, we don't get paid any hourly, so we just work off of your good time. How many hours do you have to walk around to kind of make it worthwhile your time then in a day? We work anywhere. Some girls only work two hours. We work anywhere from two to like eight hours a day. What? A shift, yeah. And is your full-time job or just like side? Some of us it is. Some of us just a side job. For me, it's a full time. I do work a lot. Right. I put in over 20 hours a week. Okay. For others, it's a part time job. It just depends on the girl. All right. Awesome. That was three questions. Thank you so much. Of course. Well, we can do <laughs> okay. Do you do something funny or? Yes, okay. okay. The first one. We're gonna say Vegas. Yes. Second one. Arms out like this. Don't go drop it. Okay. Right. Say Beauty City. All right. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. No, no, I'm not embarrassed at all. Alright. Oh, no more change. I left it in the casino. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right. Wow. That was awesome. Yeah, look at that. Leopards. Yes, I, I gave them 50 bucks for that. <laughs> and Noodle says it should have been half. Yeah, it should have been enough. Yeah, but we both got. Yeah, still. Uh. <laughs> All right. Maybe See, it's time for, time for, uh, for breakfast then. sucker on you. That's why. Oh, more, more showgirls. Yeah. Actually, their uniforms are better. They're more flamboyant. Uh huh. Oh, cowboy and cowboy. Uh -huh. Hey, I want them to whip you. Hello. How much for you to whip my friend? How much for you to whip my friend? It's just a tip. It's just a tip. 
Yeah, how much for to with my friend? Where does tip separate? Tips? Would tip. would twenty dollars do it? Where does tip separate? That's all. Okay. Who who wants to whip him for twenty? You can do both. Just we have like pictures, like poses of me with him at the end. It's like a video. Ah. Uh, do you want to do that? No, I just want to see you someone whip just him. You want to whip him? Yeah, you whip him. Okay. No, you whip him. I got whip him. Well, you want me to whip him? <laughs> hey, that's sick. <laughs> Why would you want her? Oh, he's saying that I have. Ah, okay, okay. You hold this then. Yeah. Okay, give me a weapon then. How does it work? Huh? Where, where, should, where do you be with people? Turn around, like this. Bend okay. over. All the way. Like, let the camera see your butt. What, bend over? Yep. Okay. Ow! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> That's actually perfect. I didn't think it was going to be that hard. Yeah, I'm Alright, alright. Thank you so much. Good luck. Bye bye. Seems the other girls are getting greedy. <laughs> yeah, so they had us for 50, the first ones. Jeez, I haven't even had my, my ribeye steak breakfast and already I've spent 70 bucks <laughs> grabbing one butt cheek and then being whipped. This day is off, got off to a good start. Oh, look at that, Las Vegas big bucks. <laughs> yeah, but you weren't whipped. Man, I'm broke. So now you see I've gotten completely out of my mind. They're coming to take me away. They're coming to take me away. Oh, <laughs> So late, late, late last night, it must have been oh, three o'clock or something like that. We uh, ended up at a place called Nacho Daddy. Um, I was just too, too drunk and dumb to remember that I should have filmed it properly. Um, it was pretty unique. So they have, it was, uh, so I had a tequila, you had a Malibu. I think it was the other way. No, 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 no. You, you must remember wrong. But anyway, uh, we also got a scorpion in our shot um, and I think they even like feed and grow the scorpions in Nacho Daddy so uh, here we go let's uh, let's go for a rendezvous when I'm sober and film this properly here we go the great Nacho Daddy Nacho Daddy we were here yesterday actually and now we're back for another scorpion shot can we just sit at the bar yeah, I'm gonna eat this one. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He's trying to find a Malibu bottle for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. Nobody believes you. Everybody knows you're a lightweight princess. As a matter of fact, I might get to a shirt that says lightweight princess. Really? Or Viking warrior, warrior princess or something like that. <laughs> Viking warrior princess, yeah. To describe yourself. No, I'll describe yourself. <laughs> there we go. So that's the shots? Yeah, let me just make some room so you guys can okay. see that. So this is the rum one and then... So that's the rum? Yeah, but I'm going to put them in there for you, okay? Okay. How long have I been dead? I'm not sure. Hold on, okay. Oh, there we go, he sunk straight to the bottom. That's a double, that's a double shot. <laughs> yes, yes, why did you get the big one and grab the small one? I don't know. <laughs> Drink it up. Uh, you first. All right, here you go. I'll get it. Ready? Yeah. All right.
You swallow it? I'm gonna chew it. Cheers, my friends. It was tougher today than yesterday. Oh, there we go. Huh? They look like my dinner. Alright, no problem. There you go. Awesome. I must say, you do know your meal. Every you time we go to a restaurant, you know what is the best thing to order. Yes, I do. Look at it. Everything is great. Thank you.